Oops. Okay, so compressor. Yeah, I'll just start. Oh no. Oh, control Z. Excellent. Remove selected effect. Okay, so I'm gonna add some compressor in here because we need it badly. All right. <laughs> well, we I guess it depends on the source. But anyways, um, I'm gonna show you how to use compressor in the most simple way possible. Okay because that is what really matters at the moment. I just went ahead and did like a 20 minute video on compression, but honestly, you don't need a 20 minute video. You just need to know how to reduce the peaks and turn them into gold, all right? So take a listen. Ah, uh, he's dead. Establishing battlefield controls. Okay, so our controls, <laughs> this is so cheesy. Our battlefield controls will be, do you notice our controls? This, controls is a little higher we just want to bring out these low peaks match them with these high peaks okay and the way we're going to do that is we're going to adjust the threshold okay um before you adjust the threshold change the ratio to minus two or three okay you can have pretty high compression on voices these days because it's kind of what people expect to hear i was in new vegas and skyrim and they, the voices are very, actually in Skyrim less, but in New Vegas, the voices are very compressed and uh, the gates are very hard. So like hard gate means takes out all the audio. So <clears throat> you can just basically go into your, do I have this? Okay. You just basically change your ratio from anywhere from two to four. Um, four is pretty, pretty hard compression. So. Uh, anyways, so just put your ratio up before you do anything because otherwise you're not going to have a clue what's going on. And you have to have a clue. So let's listen to our battlefield controls. Establishing battlefield controls. All right, so you'll notice that it was jumping from 24 to like minus 10-ish or minus 8. Minus 8. So let's put it to minus 24 and see what happens. Establishing battlefield controls. All right, so look at that. Uh, you'll notice that this meter started doing something. It started reducing the signal. And that is what we want to watch as newbie compressors because <clears throat> that's what matters. We just we want to see what's happening because we honestly can't hear too much. So my guideline for you is use is making this meter go about minus six. Six or less. Minus six or less, okay? Um, it's really to taste, but... If you go too much, it's gonna, you know, you'll start seeing, you'll start hearing it. You'll start, here, I'll show you. Establishing battlefield controls. So that's very compressed. Like you can hear those breaths are almost coming out between. Establishing battlefield controls. All right, so that's really, really heavy compression, all right? Um, so let's make sure that's gonna be somewhere around six. Establishing battlefield controls. All right, 6.8. Fine, that's perfect. And uh, basically, it's taking these peaks down, and it's leaving these bottom ones, so you have a, an even wave file, okay? Um, that is pretty much all you need to know about compression. Um, there are a couple other ones. Um, one second. A couple other things that may interest you with compression. Uh, you don't need to know low pass, high pass, RMS size. You don't need to know any of that, okay? Don't worry about any of this because it just, there's, you can, you can easily um, overwhelm yourself with this stuff. Like you just can. So uh, anyways, now it's due time that we bring back our mixer. Establishing battlefield controls. I guess we don't have to. Minus 12. Okay. Take a look at this peak. We want to basically make that about minus three now because this, we're focusing on the output level of the um, of the uh, waveform because we want to make it nice and loud for you know an audible kind of format so we're gonna click auto makeup and what that's gonna do it's gonna bring up it's basically gonna uh, increase the volume I think to the threshold let's take a look establishing battlefield controls all right so it made it to minus three how convenient um, I don't know how it did it. I th it didn't bring it up 27 decibels, that's for sure. It's kind of weird. So let's see what it did for the rest. I know it's pretty loud, but 
Um, here, I'll just turn down this fader, okay? Uh, basically, this fader is After Effects, okay? So it goes input, mute solo, or I guess not mute solo. So input, effects, fader, or, or pan, then fader, okay? Fader is the last thing that the audio goes through in this in this mixer track, so. Sir. Yes, sir. Ready. Roger that. So the voice is nice and compressed. We got those gate. We got that gate um, really, really working there. So we got a really clean audio here. All right. Now, um, if uh, if if you're when you bring your, you can just double click the fader to bring it back to default. But if you click here and it's sir, if it's like minus ten or twelve, you can adjust this wet signal. Okay. This is basically a post gain of the compressor. And you can adjust anywhere up to 12. So just watch your signal, kind of add it up in your head. If you have minus 10, just add about six or five or six to this. Um, but if it's anywhere from minus five to minus three, that's good. If it's over minus three, turn turn your output mix in your uh, compressor down. So this wet is what you want to adjust, not your dry. Okay, your dry is going to give you the. It's it's uh, you don't need to worry about dry adding dry to it for this purpose um this uh but yeah you just want to adjust this output mix make it about minus three and then we can go on to our other standard effects like delay and reverb although those are more of a fun effects but they do come in handy to know all right so in the next video i'll show you how to do delay and reverb effects I'll do the delay and reverb in one, and then we'll go on to some fun effects, and then we'll render this thing out, all right?